Mm. Here in the Treasure Valley after tomorrow, Roland says we may see some sunshine and warmer temperatures. That's after seeing some raindrops today. Yeah, we had a couple of little sprinkles mm -hmm. courtesy of that storm that's still over Northern California, still working its way across Nevada, and it's still headed toward Utah. So we're right on the outer fringe of that moisture. And right now we're getting a nice little break in the clouds. As you can tell, it's mostly sunny out there, but there's more cloud cover down, down to the south that is gonna be working its way right across southern Idaho. In fact, the National Weather Service has just issued a winter weather advisory, not for the Treasure Valley, but for the Owyhee Mountains as that storm system transitions from the west toward the east. So here's what we can expect to see. Morning clouds, there may be a few sprinkles around. Then in the afternoon, look for increasing amounts of sunshine, and the weather is going to be very nice on Thursday and Friday. In fact, by Friday, I think our high temperatures are going to be jumping back up into the mid-60s. So Doppler radar in full scan mode, you can see some shower activity down here across the southeastern part of the state and right at the Idaho-Nevada border, but across much of the Treasure Valley right now, it is mostly dry. Again, that winter weather advisory in effect for the Owyhee Mountains, and those Owyhees oftentimes act as a blocking mechanism. You've probably heard of the rain shadow effect. Whenever we get a mountain range that's between us and the storm that's approaching, that mountain usually ends up drawing a lot of the moisture. And then if you're in the valley on the backside of that, you get rain shadowed. So we don't see much in the way of shower activity. But there you can see right there the Treasure Valley in a nice big clear patch. But look at all of the cloud cover we have down here to the south. That is associated with this area of low pressure. And that low pressure is now finally coming on shore. Again, the final track of this system is going to be taking it right across Nevada into Utah. There's the northern fringe of that storm system, so that's why I've got some clouds in the forecast through the morning. Here's what the forecast models are showing. Tonight, around midnight, there you can see the potential for the snow shower activity around southeastern Oregon and also extreme southwestern Idaho up around the mountains. Let me take you to tomorrow morning. There's the canopy of the moisture. Notice how we're so, so very close to it. So that's why I've got clouds in the morning, but then watch what happens in the afternoon. The low finally starts to move off toward the east. Drier air starts to move in from the west. So I'm going for increasing amounts of sunshine tomorrow afternoon. And then what happens on Thursday? Boy, the high pressure starts to rebuild. Weather is gonna be nice. The mountains may see a few clouds here and there on Thursday, but overall, we're headed toward a drier spell that's gonna last through Friday. Seven day forecast then for the Treasure Valley. We'll go with clouds in the morning, a few sprinkles, then look for sunshine in the afternoon. Nice and sunny to partly cloudy on Thursday. Sunny skies on Friday. Then another storm system, actually a series of disturbances will be affecting the state. One system comes in late Saturday, kind of hangs around a little bit on Sunday with another one on Monday, neither of which looks like a very big storm, but it'll keep temperatures cool with the potential for some showers. The mountains will be seeing mostly cloudy skies tomorrow, then partly cloudy conditions on Thursday and Friday, some showers on Saturday, some snow showers on Sunday, and then a rain snow mix expected on Monday. Mm, all right. So yeah, it, it would have been nice if that storm would have tracked right over Idaho, but it's, it's taken that southern track across Nevada and Utah. All right, we'll see what else comes our way eventually. Okay. All right, thank you.